This podcast for the oncologist is brought to you by Sanofi Aventis. Cancer-associated isocitrate dehydrogenase mutations. The Warburg effect, which describes the remarkable dependence of tumors on non-oxidative fermentation of sugar into lactic acid, glycolysis, was first described in 1926. But only recently, with the discovery of cancer-specific mutations in intermediary metabolism, has interest focused on this field as a source of new targets for treating cancer. Metabolic targets derived from this field are likely to fall into three broad classes. Mutations in normal metabolic enzymes, re-expression of fetal isoforms of metabolic enzymes, and dysregulated metabolic pathways within cancers. In the first of these classes, recently discovered somatic mutations in the gene encoding isocitrate dehydrogenase, IDH, have become the most prominent examples of a mutated metabolic enzyme associated with human cancer and offer clear potential as a therapeutic target. The biochemistry underlying the oncogenicity of IDH mutations is particularly instructive. Heterozygous point mutations, which map to arginine residues involved in substrate binding, impair the ability of IDH1 and IDH2 to catalyze the normal conversion of isocitrate to alpha-ketoglutarate, alpha-KG. Initially, these mutations were thought to totally abolish the catalytic activity of the enzyme. However, further work revealed that the mutations actually confer a novel gain of enzymatic function, leading to the reduction of alpha-KG to the metabolite 2-hydroxyglutarate, 2-HG. This observation was supported when extraordinarily high levels of 2-HG, 50 to 100-fold higher than in normal tissues, were also found in malignant glioma samples from patients harboring either IDH1 or IDH2 mutations. Following the initial discovery of IDH1 and IDH2 mutations in low-grade gliomas and secondary glioblastomas, additional sequencing efforts identified alterations in these two genes in subsets of acute myeloid leukemia, AML, prostate cancer, acute lymphoblastic B-cell leukemia, and other cancer types. In gliomas and AML, mutations in IDH1 and IDH2 are mutually exclusive of one another and occur at very early stages of tumor development, suggesting that the generation of 2-HG may be the initial oncogenic event. Recently, the identification of IDH1 and IDH2 mutations in central and periosteal chondrosarcomas, as well as intrahepatic cholangiocarcinomas, further expanded the role of IDH1 and IDH2 mutations in human cancer and implied that the functional consequence of these mutations, for example, high levels of 2-HG may confer similar biological effects across multiple tissue types. The potential mechanism by which IDH mutations and their product, 2-HG, cause cancer has been elucidated by the discovery that 2-HG acts as a competitive inhibitor of alpha-KG-dependent dioxygenases. Dioxygenases play a pivotal role in demethylation reactions involving histones, nucleic acids, and potentially a diverse group of cytosolic proteins. More than 30 dioxygenases have been identified in mammalian cells. This class of enzyme includes histone demethylases, responsible for modulating histone regulation of gene expression, and the TET family of 5-methylcytosine hydroxylases, responsible for demethylation of DNA cytosine residues and therefore controlling broad patterns of gene expression. It is widely believed that inhibition of these dioxygenases can lead to genome-wide alterations in histone and DNA methylation, and in fact, hypermethylation phenotypes are seen in both glioma and AML patient samples. Inhibition of two other alpha-KG-dependent dioxygenases, prolyl hydroxylases and collagen prolyl-4 hydroxylase, has been shown to activate hypoxia-inducible factor 1-alpha an endostatin expression. Although the precise biological impact of dioxygenase inhibition has yet to be determined, it is highly likely that their inhibition may confer many of the features of malignant transformation and maintenance, angiogenesis, dedifferentiation, resistance to apoptosis, in tumors harboring IDH mutations. Finally, IDH mutations have attracted the interest of a number of biotechnology and large pharmaceutical companies, and compounds that inhibit IDH are likely to enter clinical trials in the near future. The clinical evaluation of such agents will require the development of companion molecular assays capable of detecting the mutations as well as downstream biomarkers, such as 2-HG, useful for following drug action in the clinic. IDH mutations are readily detected via gene sequencing as well as by immunohistochemistry with mutant-specific antibodies. Furthermore, because mutant IDH produces high levels of 2-HG, this metabolite may become a biomarker for pharmacodynamic endpoints, response, and detection of minimal residual disease. Measurement of 2-HG as a biomarker in tumor and in plasma samples may be useful in guiding clinical trial design with inhibitors of mutant IDH. 
Non-invasive detection of 2-HG through magnetic resonance spectroscopy imaging also offers an attractive alternative to tumor biopsy to aid in the diagnosis and to gauge the effectiveness of IDH inhibitors in patients with glioma and other tumor types not amenable to repeat tumor biopsy. To date, although IDH mutations are found in very specific tumor types, it is quite conceivable that, as more genetic sequencing data become available, other subgroups of tumors harboring these mutations will be identified. Selective inhibitors of mutant IDH enzymes will provide the initial foray into the exciting new field of disorders of metabolism underlying cancer.